Assalamu alaikum viewers, this is Sanubir Kakil, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to tell you that how you can uh, enter your data from ELISA kit into the Excel format. It's so simple and easy method and I will also tell you that how you can uh, create the standard curve. First of all, you need to enter your data in this format from your ELISA kit. These, uh, this is a format that you have got uh, your results on the ELISA reader. So all you just need to do, write your all the values by or copy pasting your all the values from your ELISA reader into this format. This is the blank and this is my standard 1, standard 2, standard 3, standard 4, standard 5 and from there I have started my unknown samples. From there uh, it will run like that. In horizontal way I have uh, uh, loaded the values or I have loaded the samples in horizontal way right so I need to uh, convert all the values from horizontal to vertical right so that we will simply calculate the concentration of our unknown samples first of all what we need to do we need to subtract uh, uh, this blank value from all the standards and unknown samples so for, I'll tell you uh, like a sample and you can just do it like that. Just uh, equal, just put the sign of equal and uh, enter your value of your first cell. Then put minus and then the value of blank and click enter. So this is the value of your standard one after removing the value of blank. All you just need to do is to drag it up to the 12 cells and uh, up to the eight rows like that so you all the values will be converted uh, or subtracted from the blank automatically uh, it is i have just done it uh, like a dummy just to tell you that how you can perform it and i will use the data like that i will use this data but you need to use the data after subtracting from the blank right uh, next, what we need to do, we, we need to convert uh, these horizontal data into the vertical format. First of all, I need to, I, I will start like that. Select all the 12 rows of ELISA kit, copy it, and then select the uh, absorbance cell in which I have, uh, I wanted to paste my data. Left click and do not select the first option of the paste select the fourth option that is transpose that will automatically convert your data from horizontal to vertical click you don't need to uh, copy and paste each cell it will save your lot of time so you will you can only need to do it five times or eight times in order to convert all your data of 96 samples in just about five seconds right it's very time saving and efficient way to convert your data in this format because this format is very much easy to uh, calculate the concentrations of unknown sample sorry copy and paste transpose not paste Right. I'm not just going to do it all all the sheet. I'm just showing it to you so that you will do it in this way. Right. This is the way you you convert all your 96 samples in the vertical uh, format or in single column of absorbance. I have taken the absorbance 450. Right. This is the second thing, and this is my blank. And this is uh, standard one, standard two, standard three, standard four, standard five. Five standards, and uh, five standards have the known concentration. It's nanogram per ml, and I will calculate the concentration of my unknown sample using these standards. So first of all, I need to have my uh, standard curve. So um, we'll calculate, we will create the standard curve by just selecting the absorbance and concentration of blank and standards, five standards like that. Go and insert, 
click on recommended charts, go into all charts, select XY scatter. It is like that way, right? It is just uh, the, these are just dummy values, therefore, the standard curve isn't up to the mark. I have created work of this these values just to give an explanation explanation in this video. Left click and add trend line. So your trend line will be added. Right? It should be uh, in that way linear way. Is this uh, not as much projected? It should be. So it's just a simple way you can create your standard curve and go into the additional elements and add axis titles remove red lines and anything else that you want so this is the way you can create your standard curve and uh, simply convert your ELISA uh, values from your microplate to your excel sheet using transpose option of paste right next step we need to calculate the concentrations of our unknown samples and I will give you a brief uh, explanatory video about that. So this is it from my video. Uh, I'll meet you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching it.